Do do do. Do do do. Okay. We got some things and some stuff. Some stuff and things. How do I look? Do I look good? Do I look good? Probably not. Sideways. The Napoleon. Maybe I should do this. Just. <sighs> All right, serious. How's it going? All right. Welcome to my unboxing video. This has been six months of waiting for this bad boy, this puppy. Some of you know the story, some of you don't. A lot of my friends on Facebook and the social medias have been following since I purchased the original. This is kit two. I bought one from a dealer in Chicago who shall remain nameless for the moment, but they're in Chicago, so. Who else could it be? Anyways, um, they shipped it to me back in January. UPS lost it, gone. They didn't know where it was at all. And then they found it, sent it to me, and it the base drum was cracked. It was all scratched up. It was it's not pretty. So we ended up calling Gretsch, and they were kind enough to make another one for me, which is cool because the sizes are different. They're not your standard sizes that most places have that you can order. And the color is only available usually on USA Customs. And this is a Brooklyn kit. This is one of those kits that you buy and have for the rest of your life. It's my dream kit and I'm so happy. Finally was able to purchase it. But enough of me talking about stuff. Let's get this thing unboxed. I do have a couple other things here. Some drumsticks, which you should always get with a new drum kit. These are Promark. I've been playing these for about 20 years. 20 years, yeah, wow, math. I started with Promark and I continue playing with them. I start with the Hickory, now I use the, the Oak. I hit hard and Hickory breaks very easily. Well, no, it doesn't break easily, what am I saying? It flexes well, but uh, it's, it chips a lot, and with the new 302 hoops that these things have, I figured it would be good to try some oak. I also have a buddy of mine in the music shop sent me these, um, the new Promark Fire Grain, which are supposed to be harder. These are hickory, but they're supposed to be harder than your classic stick, so we'll try those out. But get rid of those. Uh, a couple other things you should get when you get a new drum kit. The hole cutter for your front, so uh, you can have that vent hole in front of your head. Stick a microphone in there, that's always good. Moon gels, these are good. And something that I really recommend for any new drum kit, the uh, drum bass, drum, drum and bass hoop protector. It's uh, just a little rubber thing, if you can see. Just a little rubber pad that goes on the edge of your bass drum hoop keeps it from getting all nicked up and scratched and stuff. So, all right, that's that. Let's, let's get unboxing this puppy. Wonder what this is. This is probably the, this is the snare drum. That's cute. Little drum key in a bag. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's real pretty. Cool. Your Gretsch 302 and the hoops. All right. I'm gonna stop gawking for a minute. Let's. We'll save the biggest for last. Warranty. That's a cool little card, though. I'm probably gonna frame that. Ooh. I'm just speechless right now. It is just so beautiful. It sounds good out of the box. 
These are just shipped halfway across the country. And it sounds good. I think I got a text message. Can't wait to see it, yay! It's for my wife. Here we go. Where's my, where's my razor blade? Here, knifey, knifey. This is what happens when I make a mess in my practice space. I lost it. I done gone and lost it. Let me go find something sharp. All right, I'm back. I found it. It was under a pile of stuff. All right, so let's get at this again. It's probably a floor tom. Oh boy. That's just pretty. Oh, she's so pretty. Got the Gretsch silver sealer. I'll get some close-ups of it later. I'm, I'm just speechless. It's so pretty. On to the big one. All right, we need some room for this. Get, get out of here. Get. Ooh. There it is. Kick drum. I don't think I told you the sizes of everything. So 24 by 16 inch kick, uh, 16 by 16 floor tom, 13 by nine rack tom, 14 by six and a half snare. That's the kit. Now let's set it up. silver sealer I was talking about the Gretsch staple So the camera cut out halfway through the setup time lapse. Um, I was so busy working and gawking over the set, I didn't realize the camera had to, had died. The battery died on it. So uh, fast forward to now, uh, we're gonna do some sound samples and just play around and have some fun with it. I've already played it a bunch off camera, and it's just beautiful. It sounds so amazing. It's so warm and and punchy, and it just it just feels. It just feels good. It's really nice. When Gretsch says that great Gretsch sound, it really is. I feel like a commercial right now. But hey, I mean, anyways, enough of me blabbing. Let's get to it.
Thanks for watching my unboxing video of the Brooklyn Gretsch kit. The Gretsch Brooklyn kit. Yeah, that's how it goes. If you liked it, click like and subscribe, and I'll have more videos for you soon. Until then, goodbye society.